Um, and then next, so if you think about when you buy your car in 2012 for five grand um, and sell it in 2016, you know that it's not going to be worth 2,000 or it's not going to be worth 5,000. Um, so that's just that the car is depreciated in value over the years. So just to think about that in an accounting scenario. Um, oops. So you're depreciating your fixed asset. So your fixed asset is your asset account. You're reducing it, so you're crediting your asset to reduce it. And then your P&L, if it's a debit to your P&L, it's a cost. So it's, ex it's an expense. Um, so different asset classes are assigned dis different useful economic lives. Um, so typically a laptop, it's, it's not going to last more than five years normally. Whereas a building, it's going to last for 50 years. So the 2% depreciation rate is equivalent to it lasting 50 years. So you write it down over those 50 years. Um, an exception to the rule there is just land because land doesn't depreciate in value. Um, so the next thing there, just an appre appreciation of fixed assets then is like the opposite to depreciation. So your, your pub or your, yeah, your pub, I guess, can also go up in value. Um, so pubs can increase in value due to a number of factors. It's trading performance, location, redevelopment, and potential for alternative use, etc. Um, so it doesn't always necessarily need to be depreciating in value. So if your depreciation is crediting your fixed asset, then your appreciation would be debiting your fixed asset. It's just you're increasing it. So you're debiting your fixed asset, and then your credit, it goes to your revaluation reserve. OK. Um, then disposing of a fixed asset. So if you think about your car, and you bought it in 2012 for five grand, and you're selling it in 2016, you would, in your head, these are the things that you think about. Um, what did I buy it for? What is it worth now? How much do I sell it for? And will I make a profit? Um, so if we take this then to our actual pub example. So here, this is just showing like the different stages. So stage one, you purchase your asset. So your outflow of cash and you're getting your fixed assets. So you're debiting your asset account. Um, five years depreciation, which I talked about, it's reducing your asset balance. Um, so you're crediting your asset and you're debiting your P&L, being a cost to your P&L. And then when you sell the asset, so the net book value of the asset is now 180. Um, so it's your 200 minus your depreciation. So that's what you know the car is worth and that's what it will be sitting on your books at. So when you are selling the asset, you need to write it out of your book. So you're crediting your fixed asset. So now if we only had one fixed asset in our business, our fixed asset account would be closed and there'd be no longer, there'd be no fixed asset there. Um, so the account would show zero balance. Um, so then in your cash, um, so when you purchase the asset, there's a cash outflow, but then you sell it for 200 grand um, so you're it's an inflow of cash and then obviously associated like legal cost with selling a building would be a cash outflow of 10k there um, so then in your P&L you have your net book value sorry in your P&L you're showing your proceeds of 200 and then your cost of selling the asset and your net book value of the asset so you're making an overall profit of 10k so that's what goes into your P&L does that make sense it's okay